bro. Swedish cow! First things first, what is wrong with your friends like that? Did you do your makeup whilst having a seizure? E.g. epilepsy! Now listen in here, my dear, because there's one little thing I wish to make quite clear. You dizzying me shall not be the sole reason why the will never get picked by yours truly. You say, at your level thought, tall and lame, it makes no sense you've reached any amount of pain. So at this point, I basically run this game, and to me, you are nothing but another petty username. Which reminds me, you've already caused us quite enough trouble. What with your twisted mind, stupid double? See? That's really all your little picks then have lost just pain and misery. Well, on second thought, I guess they did also make for quite a love rats of fairy. Now, I wonder why your level team days are over. Did someone die? What's the lack of applause? I reckon some poor guy got hold of your biological controller and pressed the start. The man at boss. Huh, you're right there even worse than the level to pay. Oh, what's new this week? I'm on the platformer. I think I'm going to be sick. And what is your username? Steven, I... So it's like a video game skeleton, why did you die? By the way, I already got the Olympic Stone Karting. So how about instead of threatening me if you're not beating my level, you try to deserve that whole players getting picked on thing. Seriously, this game is now so full of bullies and trolls. Finding nice people in the community is harder than Dark Souls. Letting people down, cleaning out the price ground, getting rid of the option of sound, just generally being a bad boy of Dark Souls. Look at the trolls, crystal goals, possibly some other three heroes. Not fighting for the player's option to block. Kind of feeling like you don't give up flying. You make sure I'm guilty of all the above. My advice? Spread the love. Of course, just go around spreading the love as you please. If anything, that's a sure way to catch a disease, if you know what I mean. By taking a brief look at the history of your little big pick, I can tell you're actually quite a little dominatrix. For the first episode or two, there was someone else hosting the show with you. I believe he was named Mudluck. Well, after your time together, he saw a little under the weather. Decided to leave early peace. Uh, yes, and good luck. So then you did the show alone, but that went your swan song. For soon enough, that douche that hit ink came along. It seemed as though the two of you were having more than enough fun, but the show still ended before it ever really even begun. And after it was over, back head ink was left nothing more than an empty shell of a man. Just for that alone, you deserve one hell of a bang. No, but it's good you have those creative little friends. Otherwise, I have no idea how to come up with anything nice to say at your upcoming memorial. Damn it, because I've got killer lines, like verbal landmines. But I'm not done schooling you yet. Here's a tutorial. Well, hello there, Zack Boy. Um, go? What say, a morbid of the world? 
I must say, your outfit is much to desire. Did you know there are literally hundreds of more valuable ones to be acquired? It really makes no sense complaining about Mr. Spell giving faithless time with the game, when all you really want is exactly the same. Ah, jealousy. Every online community is too late. And for such a creative one, it really is a shame. And you, mind explaining why there's no call the Donovan fix? Well, essentially, it's not just you pulling the sticks. Anywho, enough with the bickering. The both of you just stop. It's not a very nice thing to do, and you're also both terrible at hip-hop. If you want to really know G, a devil guy, just call me. Your friendly neighborhood bar. Now that was quite the sight. But I'm not finished yet, you pink little... Who's next? Now decide! Uh -huh.